Hi, Riley Moynes again, author of The Four Phases of Retirement. You know, I interviewed dozens of retirees, uh, ranging in age from uh, about 50 to well over 80, in an effort to discover what are the ingredients that go together to make a successful retirement. And you know, there really is a pattern. I discovered that virtually every retiree experiences four distinct phases of retirement. And in this session, I want to provide a brief overview of those four phases. So phase one, we call the vacation phase. That's the time of uh, retirement. We've just begun our retirement and we look back over a long and successful career. We look back with pride. Uh, I'm sure we look back in some cases with some relief. Many retirees in phase one really appreciate the fact, though, that they don't have any routine for the moment. They've had a routine for their whole lives, and now they can do exactly what they want, when they want. It's kind of just like retirement or just like vacation. Uh, and usually this phase lasts for between one and three years, typically. Then we move into phase two, and phase two is a time when many people feel loss and they feel lost. It's a time actually when we begin to miss the routines that we had. We miss our colleagues. We miss our, our work. We miss a sense of purpose that we may well have had, and we become kind of disconnected from, it seems, the world. It's a time that can seem very lonely and very sad for many people. And coincidentally, it's a time that the Mayo Clinic identifies as a time when there is a distinct spike in the symptoms that are generally associated with clinical depression. For many retirees, it's exactly the opposite of what they expected and hoped retirement would be. Now, phase three is a time of trial and error. That's a time when we realize that we may well be alive for another 30 years. We may spend one third of our lives in retirement. And frankly, we don't want to spend it feeling depressed and lonely as we did in phase two. So it's a time increasingly when people look for initiatives, they look for hobbies, they look for new involvements that can get them reconnected again and kind of back into the system. That's phase three, the trial and error. Now phase four is a time when we look to see people reinvent themselves and reinvigorate themselves. It's the, it's the, it's the phase that you want to spend most time in. It's the phase that most people uh, aim for and hope to get to. Not everybody gets there, unfortunately. And we'll say more about phase four in a subsequent discussion. But for now, just know that it's the phase you want to get to. And it's the phase that you want to spend as much time as you possibly can in. So next time, we'll look at the four phases in a little bit more detail. In the meantime, though, I hope you'll visit our website, thefourphases.com, and on that website, you can order your copy of our book. See you next time.